Do you think Europe's history is clear? A straight line of kings, kingdoms, and one identity? Think again. What if I told you that inside Polish DNA, there are colors of Asia, blood of Vikings, and the fingerprints of a lost empire? Modern science has cracked the genetic code, and the truth is shocking. Poland is not just Slavic. It is a web, an intricate crossroads where ancient worlds collided. Inside this code lies the legacy of Neolithic farmers, the power of steppe warriors, the mark of Scandinavian traders, and traces of forgotten elites whose story rewrites everything we thought we knew. This is not just about genes. This is about survival, about migrations that reshaped Europe, about secrets buried for thousands of years, waiting to be revealed by science. Imagine a map of Europe breaking apart as strands of DNA stretch across continents, binding histories we never imagined were connected. And here's the truth. Polish identity is not simple. It is complex. It is layered. And its roots will shake the foundation of European history. But this is just the beginning. Because the next DNA surprise will change the way you think forever. Did you know that the genetic roots of Polish mothers go back more than 2,000 years? Modern genetics has uncovered a stunning truth. The maternal line in Poland has remained almost untouched from the Roman Iron Age all the way to today. The proof lies in mitochondrial DNA. Haplogroups like H501 and N1, a 1, a 2, carry the voices of women who lived long before modern nations, long before borders. Their blood flows quietly through millions of Polish lives even now. But this story isn't just science, it's culture. Two worlds collided here, the Wheelbark culture and the Przeworsk culture. One believed in cremation, the other buried their warriors beneath the soil. Two identities, two traditions, existing together on the same land. And yet, while the mothers stayed the same, the fathers tell a completely different story. Because when scientists turned to the paternal lines of Poland, everything flipped upside down. You think Vikings stayed in Scandinavia? Think again. When scientists studied the paternal DNA of Poland's early men, they found something extraordinary. Haplogroups from the Wheelbark culture clustered not with local Slavic groups, but with Scandinavia. The genetic trail leads to the north, to the icy homelands of Norse warriors who didn't just raid. They traded, settled, and shaped history. And Poland? It was right on their path. The Baltic trade routes pulsed with Viking sails, linking Gdańsk to the far north, and the graves confirm it. Burials in Poland revealed weapons and ornaments marked with Nordic design, silent proof of men who carried swords from the fjords and left their bloodline deep in Polish soil. This wasn't invasion alone, it was connection, a merging of worlds, a genetic fingerprint still etched into modern Poland. But this is only half the story. Because when scientists turned their gaze east, to the steppes, the mystery became even darker. Did you know? The fields of Poland once gave rise to a warrior race? Deep in the late Neolithic age, a culture emerged that would rewrite Europe's genetic story. The Corded Ware people. They came from the steppes, carrying new weapons, new ideas, and a genetic signature that still dominates Poland today. That marker is the Y-DNA haplogroup R1A. Scientists traced it back to these steppe nomads who brought not just bloodlines, but an entire way of life. Their graves tell the tale, battle axes placed with care, horses buried like sacred companions, and with them, the roots of the Indo-European languages that still shape the words we speak. But this isn't the end of the mystery, because the story of R1A holds a secret so powerful it's been debated for decades. And the truth behind it could shake everything we think we know. The most shocking discovery wasn't in the common people, it was in the kings. What if I told you, Poland's first royal dynasty might not have been Slavic at all? Genetic research on the PS dynasty has revealed an incredible link. Their Y DNA points not east, but far west. To the Scottish Picts, 
Historians now believe that Poland's earliest rulers may have carried blood from the far edge of Europe, and the clues go beyond genetics. Early Christian symbols found in Polish lands match those carved in ancient Scotland, echoes of a royal connection hidden for a thousand years. But this story isn't just about the kings, it's about the entire nation. And what comes next will reveal just how mixed Polish blood truly island. Why do modern Poles look so genetically uniform? You would think that centuries of invasions, migrations, and wars would create massive diversity. But the reality is shocking. Modern genetic studies show that Poles today are remarkably homogeneous. The reason lies in history's darkest moments. Bottlenecks. Population collapses. The partitions of Poland tore the nation apart. Plagues swept across the land. And the Holocaust wiped out entire communities. Then came the upheavals of the 20th century, two world wars. Forced relocations. Genocide. Each wave erased diversity leaving behind a nation that looks genetically stable on the surface. But this stability is an illusion. Because hidden deep inside, there are fragments of stories that survived everything. And those fragments connect Poland to lands you would never expect. Polish DNA carries shadows from Asia itself. Does Asia still whisper through the blood of Poland? The answer is yes, but in ways few could imagine. Genetic research has revealed traces of steppe nomads, Scythians, Avars, and others woven into Polish DNA. These were the horse lords of the Eurasian plains. They came with speed, with power, with weapons that changed the face of Europe. Yet their genetic footprint is faint. Less than 2% of East Asian ancestry remains. But the cultural echoes? They are louder. The horse gear found in ancient Polish graves. The warrior tactics that shaped medieval battles, shadows of a time when the steps touched Europe's heart. And now, as the story unfolds, the next revelation will strike not at culture but at faith itself. Is Poland's identity Christian or something far older? The answer lies in the genes. Despite a thousand years of Catholic faith, the blood of Poland carries pagan ancestry deep in its veins. The conversion to Christianity didn't erase those roots, it simply covered them. Look closer at the culture, and the truth appears. Festivals like Kupala Night, masked as Christian traditions, are echoes of pagan fire rituals. A celebration of sun, water, and fertility that predates the cross by centuries. But this story isn't finished. Because what comes next is the most unexpected twist of all. Polish DNA is not just European. It carries whispers from the Near East. There is another hidden layer inside Polish DNA, a story of trade, faith, and tragedy. During the Middle Ages, Poland became a sanctuary. Jewish communities flourished here when they were expelled from Western Europe. German merchants and settlers built thriving trade hubs in cities like Krakow. These people brought their skills and their bloodlines. Modern DNA confirms it. Ashkenazi Jewish ancestry, Germanic markers, silent witnesses to centuries of coexistence, commerce, and conflict. And then came the Holocaust. Millions of lives erased. But not their memory, not their genetic imprint. Their stories live on in fragments of Polish DNA. And when scientists assembled the full ancestry puzzle, the picture shattered every illusion Poland is not one story, it is many. A mosaic of bloodlines, Neolithic farmers from the south, steppe warriors from the east, Vikings from the north, Picts from Scotland, Jewish scholars, German merchants, all converging in one land. So what does this mean for identity? If blood is this mixed, what should we hold on to? The idea of purity? Or the power of shared history? One thing is certain. The story of Poland is the story of Europe itself, a tale of survival, migration, and connection. And in the next chapter, we will uncover an even deeper truth. The oldest royal bloodline of Europe may not come from Europe at all.